It is no measure of mental health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. I'm having a hard time biting my tongue. As the world teeters on the edge of a financial debt tsunami and a nuclear ecological Armageddon, I remain 100% in awe by the fact that most of my friends, neighbors, and colleagues, people with whom I work on a daily basis, intelligent professionals, appear to be completely unfazed, in fact, completely oblivious to the horrifying events now unfolding globally. I spent countless hours on multiple conference calls recently with professionals around the country. Fortune 100 folks from New York City, from the Midwest, and from LA. At no time during the entire week did any single person on those calls make any mention of the horrifying tsunami or the current nuclear nightmare unfolding in Japan. No mention of the possibility of radioactive fallout reaching our own shores or the lack of availability of potassium iodide across our nation. Not one person mentioned the death blow to the Japanese economy, the third largest economy on the planet. No mention of the collapsing dollar or the impact that all of this is bound to have on our own economy and future food prices. Where is the empathy, the compassion, the concern for humanity? Or even on the most basic level, where is their sense of self-preservation? It's as though these traits have been engineered out of the average detached American. And now this formerly honorable nation is unconstitutionally attacking Libya. A major attack led by the U.S. is underway against Muammar Gaddafi's air defense systems in Libya. Where is the resistance? If you are watching this video, you are the resistance. The majority has checked out. They don't care. And liberty breathes its last gasp. The hour is getting very late, my friends. But do Americans even know it? As John Williams of ShadowStats.com has written in his recent special report, the U.S. economic and systematic solvency crisis of the last four years have been precursors to the coming Great Collapse, a hyperinflationary Great Depression. Such will encompass a complete collapse in the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar, with no viable or politically practical way of balancing U.S. fiscal conditions and avoiding this financial economic Armageddon. The best that individuals can do at this point to protect themselves encompasses building a store of key consumables such as food and water and moving assets into physical precious metals and outside of the U.S. dollar. And if you know people who still think it's not worry time, please note for them Chris Martinson's recent emergency alert titled Nuclear and Economic Meltdown in Progress. Chris notes in his emergency alert, quote, I have not been this concerned since October 2008. Chris writes, This alert warns you that major world-changing events are now underway and that your personal preparations for an uncertain future should either be completed or take on a new sense of urgency. My friends, these are sobering times, yet so many of the people we know in our daily lives remain drunk on pop culture and nonsense. They do not recognize any of these dangers. For those of us who are paying attention and who are showing the appropriate level of concern for our fellow human beings, our neighbors, and our families, it can feel like we are living in the twilight zone. Friends, we must not lose faith, and we must not lose hope, but we must take heed. We must speak out, and we absolutely must prepare.